The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull, besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Time to get out of here. And then you can shed light on the dark of the matter of yourself. My head. Dead. Good. Should mind my step. Something good here, I hope. from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. holds fast. rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Skvar, you are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane.
Let's get this over with. I will ascend. Taste my fury. Try me. One day I'll catch a break. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the house. Here goes nothing. Oh, I feel better. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Time for stragglers. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something. Hurry! The console appears dormant. Mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Nothing. The console remains dormant.
best be on my way. Damn you, Thims. I need to reach the transponder. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. How much farther can I go? Door, I... What? Stop! Not another stepper up! Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least you made the effort. Suddenly you see what she sees, feel what she feels. Confusion, resolve, and a hint of gratitude. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do, in your head.
come on. The chase through hell. The creatures, what they did to us. The tadpoles. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. I'm sure enough. This is how the mind flayers breed. We host their spawn, and once they're ready, they'll tear right through us. I'm not sure how much time we have left, but I'm not going to wait to find out. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. It already has. These things here didn't die in their sleep. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. No, unless you count these monsters. You're the friendliest face so far. Likewise. Try killing a couple of these monsters before... things. These birds have seen everything. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? All right. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You'll talk. I can... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try... <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's those t they'd hand to think. I was ready to de- uh -huh. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? I suppose it's not exactly common knowledge. These worms are already affecting me. 
I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? Well, getting out of here for a start. Then finding anyone who knows about these worms. I need an expert. Someone who knows how to control these things. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. shake of your head, you can hear your own blood throbbing in your ears. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. flesh is begging to be pruned, and its sap sucked from. My mistress' eyelids stop! Cease, you lose! Ah, ah! As soon as the dreams cross the threshold of your imagination, you snap back to realize they have all come true. Just full of surprises. Aren't you? Joy floods through you. You were dazed on the Nautiloid, but now you are truly awake. Alive. and twitching. You poor thing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, so far, my tadpole and I have been nothing but best friends. Something else is happening to you, isn't it? You have bouts of swooning and swaying, and your jaw is grinding like you're poised to chew off your tongue. Hmm. <laughs> Do take care of yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back 